was the night before Christmas when all through the house. Yet Brad was still up gaming with his keyboard and mouse. He continued to game all through the night, and when morning came, Santa was nowhere in sight. He raced downstairs, all excited with glee, but to his surprise, there were no presents under his tree. A single lone letter was left in its place, and as Brad read the letter, oh, you should have seen his face. Ho ho ho, dear Brad, I had all your presents lined up and ready this year to be delivered. However, then I remembered about that one time where you went out. Oh, ho. Forgot about that. It's Christmas, everybody. Hopefully you all got more gifts than I got from Santa, but we're not going to talk about that. We are going to talk about the 10 best Christmas theme games that you have to play this season. And in no particular order, because they're all pretty great. Also, it doesn't have to be the entire game either. Many games only have segments of it that are Christmassy, so I still want to talk about those. Because you still got to check those out too. And I am talking about things that are explicitly Christmas. It can't just be snow on the floor to be a Christmas area. And quickly, as always, if you want to see more content more frequently, then consider giving this video a like and the channel a subscribe if you want to stay up to date with my weekly videos. Alright, let's get Christmassy. Let's start with the tiniest Christmas area on this list. We have the Forest of Festivity from Pikmin 3. In this level, you play as a tiny astronaut that runs around the kitchen table full of presents, stepping on everyone's food and whatnot. Hey, and he's stealing the food too. What's the deal with these guys? Look at him. He's got a trained army of food criminals. Damn, I know fruit flies are bad, but I'm glad I don't have this. This level was a part of the challenge pack that was DLC for the game. And obviously they dressed it up in all your typical Christmas attire, such as the previously mentioned presents, and they even have a stocking on the table. You can even slide down a ribbon of a Christmas tree while jingling some bells along the slide. Jeez, if that isn't Christmas, then I don't know what is. So one day Mickey Mouse fell into a giant present and got transported into the most Christmassy level out there. Yes, this is the Christmas area in the game World of Illusion starring Mickey Mouse and Donald Duck. You'll get right into the Christmas spirit with this area. You can walk on bulbs, fight Jack in the boxes, and there are like a million Christmas trees in the background. Granted, it's not a very large area, but they cram so much like, uh, Christmas stuff, I guess, into one small section. There's literally just glitter everywhere. This place just looks like a, I don't know, giant Christmas store. Now if only I could decorate my house with that level of detail. Call of Duty 4 is probably the least Christmassy game on here. Like, what is Christmas about war in the Middle East? Yeah, I would have said that too, until they released Winter Crash. This is a Christmas skin that was added to the map Crash, which is one of the more popular multiplayer maps in this game. It's just funny, because you'll be fighting a war in these broken down and wrecked buildings, but then, there's just Christmas lights. And they added a lot of other cool details other than just the lights, such as replacing the sandbags with Christmas presents, adding a big tilted Christmas tree in the middle, and there's even lights on the helicopter kill streaks. And since it's Christmas, you don't die now, you blow up with pink smoke and presents. So some games have a Christmas twist added to them if you play them on Christmas Day, but none are anything compared to Christmas Day on Animal Crossing. Or not Christmas Day, but Toy Day as the Animal Crossing folk call it. Hm, <laughs> greedy ass animals only care about their presents. Like what kind of person is like that? And in this place, instead of Santa flying his sleigh by using his reindeer, Santa is the reindeer. And he's not a very good Santa, mind you, because he has to get your help to deliver presents to everyone in town. Like, come on, dear, that's a lot of people to deliver to. I got things to do. What do I look like, Santa or something? So I helped the reindeer to deliver the presents, and then I got a Christmas wreath in the end. Cool, I'll just throw it in with the rest of the Christmas crap here. Do you want an entire game set on Christmas Eve? Then look no further than Batman Arkham Origins. Yes, this rendition of the Dark Knight has been totally, uh, let's call it Christmasified. Some of the guards wear Santa hats, there's snow everywhere, and even the Joker started singing Christmas carols. And the party's in a Jeez, now that's talent. 
I just like the idea of this setting. Not your conventional Christmas game, but definitely interesting having an action slash detective superhero game with a Christmas setting. Honestly, this game kind of reminded me of the movie Die Hard, because in that movie, the main character, John McClane, is trying to stop Hans Gruber before he kills people, all while climbing up the Nakatomi Plaza, with incompetent cops helping. And in this game, you play as Batman trying to stop Joker before he kills people, all while climbing up the Gotham Royal Hotel with incompetent cops helping. And obviously, of course, of course, they're both set on Christmas Eve. Ugh, man, I'm stressed out. I need to get that present for myself. Surely there's got to be a way. You know what? I'm going to phone Santa. See what he says. I'll call him up. Mm. Yeah, hello, Santa? Yeah, okay, I know what I did, blah, 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 long story, I'll make it up to you, I swear I'll be on my best behavior this year, double as good as last year. Come on, come on, Santa, it was a uh, one, hello? Santa hung up on me. Santa Claus hung up on me! Kirby's Epic Yarn is a game that at least everybody, yeah, maybe should get around to playing at some point because it has an entire world of snow levels and it's got places with some of the most adorable names I've heard. You have Cozy Cabin where you enter the cabin through a chimney, come out the fireplace like your Santa and then proceed to explore this home. You can make ornaments appear on the tree and enter a mitten. And there's a level Frosty Wheel that has some of the greatest atmosphere in the game with its icy floors and the night sky. And in this level, instead of turning into a car like you normally do, you turn into a sleigh. There's also another level, Evergreen Lift, that has Kirby ride up a Christmas elevator all while you go up a massive and beautiful Christmas tree. And at the end, you hang up a star on top. Man, I love this game. And the best part of it is that it's made of yarn. There must be like a Christmas sweater analogy you can make up with that, surely. Overwatch has been quite the popular game since it's been out, and during the Christmas season, they always have the Winter Wonderland event that happens. This event is a complete Christmas reskin that takes the same game and makes it stand out over the winter season. The maps are redone, the characters have Christmas skins, and there's a new game mode where you throw snowballs at each other. And of course, there's Christmas trees and lights all around the maps. You know what, I'll be honest with you, it's not all that much, but it's just the right amount. This Winter Wonderland is only available for three weeks every year, and I find it's always a nice way to play a little Overwatch during the holidays. And much like Christmas, it'll be over before you know it. Okay, no introduction, no surprise, Freeze Easy Peak from Banjo-Kazooie. I've talked about this level multiple times in the past, and I'm here to talk about it again. I should really get new material for my videos. But that's not important right now. Have you ever wanted to toboggan off a giant snowman scarf? Freeze easy peek. Have you ever wanted to fly through the star of a Christmas tree? Freeze easy peek. Or have you ever wanted to see a walrus race a polar bear? Well, maybe try going to the North Pole with that one. That's kind of a weird request, not gonna lie. Oh wait, no, it's in freeze easy peek. Every Christmas cliche is here in this world and it is amplified to the max. It's amazing. One of the most immersive worlds in this game, for sure. Diddy Kong Racing is a game with an entire world of different Christmas tracks. From cute little Christmas villages to giant igloos with crystal caves in them somehow. It's all here in this world for you to drive around in. Oh, and there's Snowman Mount Rushmore over here. That's clever. This world just has a really good atmosphere. Colorful lanterns illuminate the caves. You can see a full moon over the village. There's a foggy slash snowy forest. And then they just threw in a bunch of fucking candy canes everywhere. It's awesome. And for the Nintendo 64, this world looked quite amazing and it still looks good today. The gorgeous ice caves combined with the beautiful color palette just makes this level look great. Christmas Nights Into Dreams is an extra disc that contains extra levels for the game Nights Into Dreams. But as the subtitle states, it has been completely Christmasified. Yeah, I like that word. You'll be flying around in some dream world and it's almost like every Christmas item is being put in front of you to fly around in. You'll be ringing bells and flying through wreaths in these fast-paced fun stages. And you beat the stages by collecting Christmas bulbs and then placing the bulbs on a Christmas tree end goal. This is just good, simple, classic 
Christmas fun. Well, at least I got to enjoy these Christmas games this year because Santa still hasn't gotten me anything. Uh, wait a sec. What's that? I see your video has spread many Christmas cheer across the land, so please take this as my thanks. So Brad got the present that he wanted after all. As he couldn't contain his excitement, he ran down the hall. He opened the door and shouted with all his might, Happy Christmas to all, and to all a good night! Hey everyone, Brad here, and I just want to say thanks for watching this video, but more importantly, thanks for watching my videos this year. 2019 has been a bigger year for me in terms of the amount of videos I've uploaded and the amount of views on them. I have upped the production, and you guys have seemed to be enjoying that, so that is awesome. Thanks for that. But more importantly, 2020 is going to be a bigger year with even more production and I already have a bunch of interesting ideas lined up for that. So if you want to be notified when those videos will be uploaded, make sure to subscribe. It's the season of giving after all, so there's that. <laughs> but no, anyways, thanks for all the support. Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year's. I'll see you guys in 2020. This old house